right, what's going on guys? We're back at it again. My name's RJ, your off-road representative here at Ride Now Power Sports in Austin, Texas. Today, Honda's given us a chance to take a look in depth at one of their Talon 1000Rs. So let's go take a look at it real quick, find out if this is the right rig for you. All right, guys, so bringing it up to the front of the vehicle, we're going to notice a couple of key features straight off the bat. Styling, aggressive, and unique, making it sure that your vehicle is going to stand out no matter what kind of riding you go do, no matter what crowd you're running with. Now, up front, you've also got a couple of very nice headlight assemblies. These are going to be very bright, great visibility when you're on the trail. Maxxis tires supplied straight off the showroom floor give you great traction all terrain types. Doesn't matter what kind of riding you're doing, these guys are gonna get you taken care of. Now, you've also got this nice front steel bumper up here with some added protection, giving you that peace of mind that if anything goes wrong, you're gonna be protected up front. Honda also went with a very robust suspension system. As you can see, you've got dual A-arm wishbone suspension up front, along with that internal bypass coilover from Fox. Now this is gonna be running the QS3 suspension, which is gonna stand for quick select or quick shift, three positions. So you've got firm, medium, soft, just a click away, making it really easy to tailor fit the suspension to whatever kind of riding you're gonna be doing. Now, if you wanna follow me real quick, we'll go take a look at the side. There's a couple of cool things over there that you definitely wanna see. Now coming over here, obviously the first thing I wanna talk about is gonna be the two-piece frame. Now, that allows for a lot of easy customization, as well as it still has quite a bit of rigidity and strength. But, anytime you wanna go start doing other stuff, aftermarket cages, adding roof racks, adding spare tire carriers in the back, all that stuff that you wanna do eventually down the road, this makes it really easy to do, which is a huge time saver from Honda. Now, obviously, on top of the frame, you're gonna see they included the high-quality polymer roof to protect you from rain, keep the sun off you, just, more or less protection from the elements. The other thing that Honda did really, really well with the Talon is they kept the body lines really nice and high. Now that gives you a much more ah, substantial feeling is really the word I wanna look for, of being inside the vehicle instead of kind of sitting almost on top of one like you would in a utility vehicle, like a Ranger or a Defender or a Pioneer. Now. They included this door net system, which is a very easy, just a real quick alligator clip. You just clip that right in there. Keeps you benefits of having the door nets. Um, half doors from Honda. Obviously, they're nice and tall, like you said, but you still have a nice air ventilation down low. Now, Honda does offer filling spots for these. Like, you can get the little plastic piece that fills in that hole if you want it. Uh, I don't personally think it's necessary, especially straight off the floor. But if you're riding out there and you definitely want it, Honda offers it. Accessories, out the wazoo, um, anything that you really wanna go do, Honda's got the gear for you. Now moving to the back of this vehicle, you can see obviously we've got another Maxxis tied tire down there, um, as well as another setup for the podium from Fox with the QS3 adjustment system. Now you've also got a very large sway bar back there, a very heavy douche tor torsional trailing arm down here uh, to allow for extra suspension travel and just give you an overall smooth, comfortable, but also performance-driven ride. All right, so moving around to the rear of the vehicle, obviously we've got quite a bit of open storage space. Four tie-down points here in the bed are gonna make sure you keep your cooler secure, spare tire, whatever it is you wanna bring with you. Uh, you got LED tail lights here, uh, giving anybody that's riding behind you clear visibility, making sure that they know when you're stopping, when they light up, when you hit your brakes and stuff like that. A little bit down lower here, you're gonna have your uh, robust radius rods. So that's keeping everything secure in the rear, making sure that your suspension keeps in alignment, um, just making sure that the rig stays solid for you no matter what you're gonna do. Obviously, you got your little exhaust cover back here, just making sure that nobody accidentally touches the exhaust pipe and burns themselves. So nice of Honda to think of that and keep us safe. Uh, moving over to the interior of the vehicle, we still have yet to get to the coolest thing about the Talon and what truly sets it apart from the rest of the sports side-by-sides. Follow me, let's go take a seat and let's go find out how to drive this thing. All right, so on the inside of the vehicle here, nice storage spots, nice comfortability, ergonomics are great. Um, like I said earlier, the keeping the body lines nice and high, so it feels just like kind of driving my truck, where I've got my elbow spot if I wanna put my elbow out the window, 
but it just gives you that vibe where you're sitting inside and you're really in the side of the vehicle. Now, obviously I've got the steering wheel set to the top position. This is an adjustable steering wheel, so I can bring it all the way down here. It's gonna behave and feel a lot more like a sports car down in here, a little bit more like a putzing around, having fun, just cruising the trails kind of vehicle with it up there. The coolest thing about this vehicle, the most unique part of this, dual clutch transmission. This vehicle comes with an automotive style gearbox. So you've actually got one clutch specifically set up for first gear, third gear, fifth gear. You've got a secondary clutch set up specifically for second gear, fourth gear, and sixth gear. So as it moves, you're just transferring. There's extremely quick shifting, no lag whatsoever, and you can really feel that when you transfer this thing into manual transmission mode. On here, you'll see that you've got a couple of rocker switches here on the interior, starting on the right, sport mode, AT slash MT. Now, on your display, you're gonna notice that you've got your gear indicator. Right now it says park, because I'm in parked. If I hit manual transmission while the motor's running, it will automatically switch over and display the number one, indicating that I am in first gear. Now, I've got paddle shifters here. These are stationary, they don't rotate with the steering wheel, so you always know exactly where they're at, you know which one's which. Plus is gonna be here on the right side, minus is gonna be here on the left. Plus, obviously, two added gear, so go from first to second gear, minus to go from second to first gear, so on and so forth. Now, this thing's also got sport mode for when you don't feel like messing with your paddle shifters, you can still get that same kind of driving experience utilizing the sport mode that they offer. What that's gonna do is change out your throttle response. It's gonna change the shift pattern of the vehicle. Now, when you're in normal driving modes and you're in automatic gear, it's gonna shift right around 6,000 RPM. When you put it into sport mode, it's gonna be more like 7,500 to almost 8,000 RPM before it shifts to the next gear, giving you the utmost amount of horsepower out of every single gear that you've got. Making sure that no matter what style of riding you're doing, performance is literally right here at your fingertips. Now, kind of moving on a little bit, storage cubby up here in the middle. Um, you've got your hill start assist next to the sport slash ATMT switch here. Now, hill start assist is a super cool feature that's relatively exclusive to Honda. What it does is if I was to go park on this hill either behind me or any one of these hills that's around me, and I'm sitting here in just high gear, low gear, first gear, second gear, whatever gear I'm in, I want to go, well, it would be first gear, I guess. But if I want to go from a standstill, I'm stopped on a hill, I'm in high gear, I'm in first gear, whatever, I'm going to take my foot off the brake and move it to the gas. What's going to happen when I let go of that brake is my car is going to start to roll backwards. Not in a Honda. The hill start assist specifically does not disengage your braking system until you've made your move over to the gas pedal. What that does is it gives you about a second of kind of wee wiggle room to be able to move, take your foot up, put it on the gas, and not have to worry about rolling backwards. And then when you hit the gas, your wheels start spinning and you lose traction. This makes it to where it is ridiculously easy to get up even the steepest and most challenging hills. Now, other than that, the seat's super, super comfortable. Driver's seat, forward and backwards adjustable, as well as it's nicely bolstered to keep you in place while you're riding down the trails as well as a 12 volt adapter right here in the middle, giving either driver or passenger access to a cell phone charger, GPS, whatever it is you need to do. Now, up here on the screen, this is where stuff starts to get really cool. Now, obviously you're gonna have your odometer, you're gonna have your trip, you're gonna have your engine temperature, as well as a hour meter, as long as a service interval countdown, which you can adjust and set to whichever interval you want it to be at, as well as your total hours that are on the vehicle. Obviously gear indicator, like I was talking about, you're gonna have a clock, you're gonna have your fuel gauge, and then you're gonna have your digital tack, which is gonna be representing your RPMs there, your speedo, which is also digital as well, and then you've got your differential indicator. You've got your two wheel drive or your intelligent four wheel drive. Intelligent four wheel drive is Honda's four by four system allowing for a really easy to use comprehensive differential. Up front, I just put it into I four wheel drive. It's gonna act more or less as a limited slip, 
giving me assistance when I need it, but not overcorrecting for the vehicle or taking control away from me. All right, guys, so that about does it for a basic overview of the Honda Talon 1000R. Now, if you wanna find out some more details, go in a little bit more in depth with me, I'd be more than happy to work with you. Come on down to Ride Now Power Sports here in Austin, Texas. We're just off I-35 North and Breaker Lane. My name's RJ Hickox, I'm the off-road specialist. I'd be more than happy to sit down with you and find the perfect rig for you. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Remember, whatever type of riding you're doing, ride now. I don't need rags, I just need more bags. But the trip to the stove said I need more space.